This video explains how to fix your printer when you have a paper jam error message on your printer control panel or on your computer. Sometimes the printer gives you a paper jam message when there isn't one. So before you try the other steps on this video, try doing a printer hard reset first. It could save you a lot of time. Remove the paper from the input tray. Then make sure the printer is turned on. Disconnect the USB cable from the back of the printer. And open the cartridge door. Wait for the carriage to stop. Then take the cartridges out. Close the cartridge door. And unplug the power cord from the printer. Wait 60 seconds, then plug the power cord back in. Turn the printer back on. Open the cartridge door. And reinstall the print cartridges. After replacing the cartridges, Unplug the power cord from the back of the printer. Move the print cartridge carriage from side to side to ensure it will move freely. Close the cartridge door. Plug the power cord back in. Then, Reconnect the USB cable and load your paper. Print a self-test page again by pressing and holding the cancel button and then pushing the start color copy button once. If a self-test page prints, you're done. If it doesn't, try the next step. Next, clear the paper jam from the back of the printer. Remove the paper from the input tray, then turn the printer on. While the printer is still on, unplug the power cord from the back of the printer. Press in the tab on the left side of the rear access door and take the door off. You should be able to see the jammed paper in the rollers. Gently remove it. Make sure you get all the pieces that might tear off. When you've removed the paper, replace the rear access door and move around to the front of the printer. Check to see if paper is jammed in the front. Be careful when removing paper from the front. It can damage the printer. Lower the paper tray and open the cartridge door. Gently remove any paper you see. Again, make sure you get all the small pieces that may tear off. Use a flashlight to make sure you've removed all small pieces from inside the printer. When you've removed the paper, close the cartridge door. Plug the power cord back in. And turn on the printer. Try printing a self-test page again by pressing and holding the cancel button, and then press the start color copy button once. If a self-test page prints, you're done. If it doesn't, try the next step. Printer rollers get dirty from paper dust, ink, and oil from your fingers. In this step, we'll clean them. Unplug the power cord from the back of the printer. And remove the rear access door. Gather the following cleaning materials. Clean, lint-free cloths. 
clean cotton swabs, clean water to dampen the cloths. Distilled or bottled water is preferable, but not required. Do not use alcohol or other chemical cleaners. Clean the rollers visible in the printer with a clean, lint-free cloth, lightly moistened with water. The cloth should be damp, but not soaking wet. Use your finger to turn the rollers toward the printer. Make sure you remove any buildup or debris from the entire surface of the roller. Look for the paper pick roller further inside the rear of the printer. Clean the roller with a moistened cotton swab, removing any buildup or debris. This roller is difficult to reach, but is the most important to clean. If this roller inside the printer is not cleaned, this problem will continue because this is the roller that feeds the paper into the printer. While the rear door is off, check the rollers on the door. Check if any rollers are missing, don't roll freely, or have some give when you push on them. These conditions could mean that the rollers aren't picking up paper and that the rear door needs to be replaced. After the rollers have dried, replace the rear access door. Plug the power cord back in. Turn the printer on. Print a self-test page again by pressing and holding the cancel button and then pushing the start color copy button once. If a self-test page prints, you're done. If it doesn't, try the next step. Still not working? Sometimes the carriage is stuck and you have to give it a push. Unplug the power cord from the back of the printer. Go to the front, open the cartridge door, and find the carriage. Clear any paper or obstructions from the carriage path. If there is nothing in the way, push it until it moves. Use your hands, not any tools. It may require substantial force to make it move. After you've moved the carriage, look around for additional obstructions. Close the cartridge door, Plug the power cord back into the printer. Turn the printer back on. Print a self-test page again by pressing and holding the cancel button and then pushing the start color copy button once. If a self-test page prints, you're done. If it doesn't, try the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned the printer and what country you live in.